Hey everyone and welcome to Almost Cancelled, I'm Peter, that is Connor and we are going to talk about Maniac, episode 10, it is the finale of the limited series, it is called Option C, so full spoilers for the episode as always. Now we were a little bit underwhelmed with episode 9 and yeah. uh, obviously that gave us some concerns get the finale and I'm actually delighted to say that the finale is almost perfect and it's kind of, and you could disagree with me, I can see it in your face. Um, <laughs> so here's the thing. I think the, the end of the story inside the machine was underwhelming. I think the real life story at the end of this was kind of exactly what it needed to be. And that's why I think it's, it's you know, you said, oh, it's almost perfect. Yeah. It's almost too perfect. It's too exactly what it was going to be. <laughs> like, it's like it's oh, here you go it's just it's so straightforward that it's almost a little underwhelming um for me i get it it's it's where we've been going all season but there's there's nothing extra to it that i didn't expect or you know it, it's all very well done obviously i, I mean have I, that I, extra kick i guess you could argue that yeah it's, it's too kind of exactly even to the point when we raid off at the sunset at the end it's kind of exactly what owen said his fantasy was with you know just raiding with someone and they're both having each other's that's, back that's my problem yeah um but for me the all the scenes in the episode the way they were handled the music the the, mm-hmm. the performance especially by jonah hill i thought uh in it's a couple very episodes. understated um, yeah uh, it was very good, good. Yeah. and it was kind of like the characters realizing what we'd kind of realized a while ago um and I, th- I think for in this case for me that works because that's kind of the point of the show is that they're too screwed up to just realize the simple problems they have yeah. and realize what's wrong with them and and it's funny because i think you know obviously the last couple of episodes we were thinking that he was going to have to help her because she was going to be kidnapped by by gary i think what's interesting is before that We'd been saying for a while that she was going to have to help him more so because she was moving along further. She was more healthy. She yeah. she had kind of accepted things to an extent. And that's actually what happened in this final episode is she had to come and save him, but in the real world. Yes. Um. So that paid off for me, I thought, because it was like, oh, we were kind of we were kind of thinking that was where it was going for a while. Well, uh, no, that's the thing. I can't fault anything that the episode does. It's 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 what it doesn't do, right? It's it's that it's 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 so. It's expertly done, but it's so by the numbers of, okay, here's how it ends. And it's just what it was going to be. That, you know, since, with, since like episode three or four. Uh, it's always funny, because uh, I've been thinking, despite the fact that it's done a pretty good job of having like most of the episodes feel like distinct episodes, uh, obviously a lot of them are quite short. I, I wonder, and given what you're just saying to me there, is that it was just too long from when we kind of got where it was going to when, when it ended then maybe this was a better two-hour movie than it was a, a seven-hour series. Yeah. I think the, the only reason it's a series is, oh, hey, we wanted to, do, we wanted to show you all the, wacky, I, all the wacky worlds that they were experiencing. Because I, I can totally see the movie version of this in the first and last episode. Or the first two episodes and the last episode are unchanged. It's just the middle act would be condensed into an hour or whatever yeah probably like a two and a half hour movie sure yeah but the point i'm making is it fell at the end of a movie but i thought it was a really uplifting end to the movie and i was smiling like i i I think you know annie going to her father and you know he's already out and she admits to him that she thinks that he 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 feels like the wrong daughter died and he's like no i don't feel that and also hank azera just out of nowhere uh (laughs) yeah out of nowhere it's him uh, no i agree with this i think you might write that it was just too long that Maybe it should have been a movie, and that would have actually solved it. It's it's almost a pacing issue. Mm. Uh, but no, I I like that she's like you know Owen. No matter what he you know he tried to help me. No matter how many times I screwed him over, he tried to help me. Uh, and he's just like what? So he acted like a friend, and she kind of accepts what he said, but she gets a rent a friend instead. Yeah. Or it was a different company. It was like a, a friend proxy. Yeah, friend proxy. Um, and she's pissed because he's not doing own own properly. Uh, and then she sees in he the paper. He gets down and proposes, and she's like, "I'll oh, piss off." Yeah, um, and what I like about that is that it's clearly telling us now this is not romantic. At least not yet. I mean, it could be someday. They, 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 maybe that will go that down that way. But right now, that's not what this is. I think that's maybe the only subversion that we got from you know from early on, where you know, like, oh, the two of them together, oh, kind of see where this is going, right? Hmm. And then, but uh, you know, it, it established over the last four or five pretty clearly that it wasn't necessarily romantic it was it was you know as as uh owen said a while back you know it was it was just two people looking out for each other 
Yeah, because he's just like his family don't do for him because yeah. when he he buckles in court because they they turn down like a a settlement offer like the 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 victim makes a settlement offer and they turn it down out of out of spite no 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 we're going to tear it to shreds because no one threatens our family and that's kind of the turning point for him and then they're showing the, the security camera footage and we never actually heard it until us but there's a, there's a point when when they're doing the, the pre you know pre hearing like uh, yeah. meeting where one of the questions the lawyer asks them to sort of like you know get him ready is uh, have you ever witnessed uh, your brother uh, either consensual or unconsensual uh, any type of urination and I went wait what what, what was this sex crime exactly <laughs> yeah um and then the video you see that he just wanted to be peed on that that was the specific crime um and he you know and i i I love i do love the moment where he just says no it looks like it's it's, you know it doesn't look like him it is him it's that he's a monster lock him away i recant everything i said i lied i'm sorry i lied i'm sorry but yeah and you know, instead of standing by him, everyone just starts to shout at him. And I felt bad for Adelaide, so the crowd. She's just like hoping this isn't true. And yeah, it is. yeah. Um, and, but what I like about it is that he's sticking up um, for what's right because you know, but when he first gets out, he, he writes a letter to uh, the girl that he freaked out. You know, but you know, back back when he was studying the story we yeah. heard, uh, he wrote a letter to her, uh, and I thought that was sweet too. Um, so he go, he gets he gets committed by his family because they just don't want anything to do with him. They'd rather just lock him away. And when Annie sees this, she rides off. Uh, like, this is unacceptable. Yes. And she storms in. She makes up a story. She comes in. She's actually smuggled in clothes for him. But the scene of the episode for me, outside of the uplifting ending, where they're, they're making their grand escape and the, the music's really upbeat and they're, they're yeah. smiling and they're happy and they're, they're, you know, they're two people together who've got each other's backs. And I, I guess that's kind of the point of um, how a lot of the stuff in the machine felt more veered towards her, is that he kept trying to help her because it was always focused on her in there and then her actually helping him was in the real world like she always yeah. kind of hogged it we kind of mentioned that how maybe that's part of the, the the analysis here is that it is always veering towards her side of the plot inside the machine like her like like her psyche's kind of overpowering his yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we mentioned that a couple of times for sure and it, it did always feel like even even when it was supposed to be his episode like um uh, i'm feeling like you know like the the seance right mm. she literally just pops in like she just forces her way in and, and takes over yeah uh but despite all that he still wanted to help her no matter what and that's exactly. kind of the, the lesson that, that she kind of realizes and my favorite scene of the episode i think is when because earlier on in the episode uh, he's talking to the therapist and he said she's like oh, why did you never try and call annie again it's only like you got you connected and he says well there's option a and b option a is that she's not real and you know i'd try to find her and she never existed uh, and then option B is not, you know, is worse. And then we find it option B, and that's my favorite scene of the episode, is where Annie does come out to see him, and she tries to convince him, let's go, this is bullshit, you shouldn't be here, you're not that crazy, let's go. And he's like, no, because option B is, you know, one day I'm going to lose my temper because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ill, and I'm going to freak you out, and you're not going to call me back. You're going to delete my number, and it's going to break my heart. And his performance in this scene, like, just this, 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 this vulnerable honesty and then her just looking at him saying i will never do that to you it's it's probably the best acted scene from him i've ever seen yeah no i agree yeah. with that yeah no, not just in this just ever just that no i agree completely because it's not that jonah hill's bad but he's, he's done so many comedies and stuff that it's just kind of like yeah, he's always been like yeah, he's all right he's never been you know my, yeah. my my cup of tea necessarily but no this here is excellent H- him doing dramatic stuff is way more interesting to me than him doing comedy i think yeah yeah um, definitely yeah, anyway, and then in the bathroom when she's like giving him the clothes, she's like, he's like, "Why are you doing this?" And he's like, "Cause you're my friend." <laughs> and it's like, I, I think that you know it hits them there. And then you know when when they're out and they're they're driving and they're smiling and it's, I don't know, like for me everything in this episode. And well, I kind of agree. Okay, nothing really swerved or, or or really changed like where it was going. I think because the last episode in part felt like it didn't live up to what I thought it was building up to. This one for me lived up to everything that I thought it was building up to in the first place. I mean, I still think Nine's underwhelming, because I, th- I think the end of the, the machine world is kind of lackluster. Yeah. But for me, this kind of swung back round and gave it the perfect ending, so... No, that's right. I, I do like it a lot. I just, you know, there's just a, a little bit of, okay, like, but well, I'm at the end of the show now, story's finished. Mm. It just didn't quite nail what I was hoping by the end, because I think, like I said, I think it's a Overall, it's not this episode's fault. I think it's a pacing issue that maybe it's just 
it was too long for the story, especially the stuff in the machine world, because that was so underwhelming last episode that maybe it felt like, okay, half the show, give or take, was in the machine world, and maybe that was a bit much. Yeah. Even though if you're doing a TV show, it kind of has to be like that because you need your episode hooks like in, in this. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny how... Like I, I thought, got into the show that the the, the fake worlds they're in were going to be like the, the crux of the whole thing, and well, obviously they're they're a big plot device in the in the, in the show. They weren't as central to like like what I thought were the the main focus of the show because the main focus was just those two characters, really. Yeah. And their and and their own issues and trauma and how they sort through that, and obviously we used the machine world to kind of like catalyze that and explore that, but it it wasn't like the central because. I think I was expected to be, I want to say like The Matrix, but let me explain what I mean by that. I was expected to be like The Matrix where, forget the plot of The Matrix or anything like that, just the idea that that is the main the main thing that the entire thing revolves around, is the idea they go into this world. And I feel like in this show, that's not what the show overall is actually about. That's just a plot device within the show, as opposed to actually being the core premise of the entire thing, if that makes sense. No, I'm with you. Um, like When I think about it now, and I'm looking at, you know, the, the show as a whole and I'm thinking oh you've you put the idea would it be better as a movie I feel like some of the uh, the machine world stuff is maybe a bit too repetitive it's mm-hmm. it's kind of the same point over and over it's fun like you know I, I enjoyed watching all of them individually because you know they're all enjoyable little stories and worlds but most of them were making the same point right and I get the idea of okay no you know, Annie had to get that point over and over again to finally get it into her head. What what was yeah. going on? Yeah, and I, obviously, the episode name was underwhelming. Um, I think you could have cut down the, the previous ones a bit. Like, I almost wonder if it'd have been better to intercut between them and make it a bit more confusing. Almost like you know, we get a little bit of one, you know, the eighties one, then we cut to the seance one, and we we jump around and it's kind of a puzzle. Yeah, I think especially like the those two because you know we we came out and then uh, we were told, oh no, they were experiencing like thousands of these all at once. Yeah, and it didn't feel like that from our perspective. It felt very focused. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, almost would have benefited when they went into the machine world. It would almost have benefited from more of an, an erratic David Lynch style of like focus as opposed to which no because <laughs> that's what the trailer was right the trailer was like okay this is going to be all over the place there's going to be all mm. these things and ultimately it was extremely straightforward the show um you know we we were going over at the you know first episode okay is this real or not they get and then pretty quick you know by the you know, episode like three or four we we're like no probably not yeah, yeah that, that was all just uh, us hoping for other things maybe you know we were going oh maybe and we were just seeing things there was nothing there yeah no i mean that's fair i'm not necessarily disappointed in that though i, I, I no no i'm not either yeah but i th- i feel like maybe it was um not quite what i was expecting from the tra- from the trailers I mean, maybe it was slightly missold i think i had a cut maybe two episodes i'd, I'd a cut most of episode nine and i'd a maybe like cut down because seven and eight were basically one big episode i'd have just put them together and trimmed it down a bit for a start yeah and i would have uh three and four you know the the, the 80s and the seance mm-hmm. i'd have probably cut them down to one episode and sure. cut and spliced them together and intercut between the two stories i can see that kind of like how the 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 gangster and the 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 fantasy one we're kind of yeah cutting. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd have done the same style yeah. yeah except that one would have been more confusing because it's the same characters would have been in both right yeah now i can see that i can see that um yeah yeah okay uh, i mean it's, it's funny to me that i actually ended up i think my favorite stuff in the show is the stuff that's not in the machine world but th- mine too but funny enough that, that that is equally that is definitely half the show if yeah. not more than half the show so it's like okay I mean, for me, the character journey for the two characters, and I think, I think the the heart of the show. That's why I wasn't expecting going in. I was expecting a more cerebral, what the hell's going on show, sci-fi, yeah, epic thing. Yeah. And instead, I got this really heartfelt story about uh, someone who's never really had a friend or someone they could trust, and not always been let down by people, and then finally finding someone, two mutual people finding each other and giving that to each other. And, 
I think it's a completely different thing from what I was expecting to get into it. But I think for the most part, what it ended up being, it nailed. And it had these no, really I, sweet I, moments. So No, I, I happen to agree. Yeah. Like all, all the stuff out that's in the real world is pretty excellent. I, I can't think of a single scene in the real world where I'm like, oh no, probably would have got rid of that. Yeah. Um, and I, I love that you, obviously we had, you know, Mantle Ray and you know, going on, on, on his shtick and kind of mirroring what was going on with, with here. Yeah. Yeah, I love how his mother basically gets him banned from the industry and then just says, I'm not sticking around, I'll see you in a few years, maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't let him work in this industry again. And then Yoda's like, don't worry. <laughs> not, that's not yeah. a problem. <laughs> yeah, he won't. <laughs> uh, I have to admit, I laughed really hard at the uh, the car reveal. Like, you know, because Zoomie's like, oh, do you want a lift somewhere? He's like, oh, you can drive. Uh, which I think the implication there is that a lot of the cars are, are self-driven now. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's like, sure, yeah, yeah. And he's walking to this, you know, this beat up old car. And she's like, no, it's this one. And the camera pans across and it's a car with flames on it. <laughs> and it's the way he says, of course, yeah. <laughs> afterwards that just cracked yeah. me up. Uh, he, I mean, I think Mantle Ray and Azumi are, are pretty foreign characters who, if you did convert this to a movie, you'd probably have to cut down a lot of them because... They don't they, necessarily add as much to the actual main plot, but they're fun they, to have around in a TV show. Yeah, they, they'd probably be almost entirely cut. They'd be just background characters. They'd be the the doctors just running the lab. They wouldn't have plot. Yeah. And I, I you know that would be a shame to lose, but I think overall it would be a tighter, better story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um. But yeah, no, so I had fun with this stuff. Obviously, there's a little mid credit scene as well, but I'm just kind of. Saying, ah, we'll get there eventually. Yeah, maybe a hard journey, but we'll get there. Which again is just kind of a almost a blanket metaphor for life. Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah. gonna be hard. Gonna be stumbles. There'll, there'll be roadblocks along along the way. But you know, it's us. Um, yeah, I will say I really like the music. I, I was really noticing this finale yeah. especially. There was a lot of music I really liked. I actually immediately went on to uh, onto the the Spotify's and listened to some of the tracks after one I finished. One of the one of the best moments is uh, when they're in the institution. Mm-hmm. And it's after, and he goes, oh, I'm going to go into that bathroom. You're going to follow me. And it's as she's walking up to the door, we got the shot from, we're, we're looking from the other side through the door. Yeah. The music there is exceptional. Mm. Yeah. The courtroom scene is exceptional when he's writing the letter. They're, they're a great yeah. escape at the end. All of it's good. And it's been good all season, but I was, it, it was really standing out this episode because the emotional beats were all kind of landing now that we're, that we're wrapping up. And yeah. uh, it, was, it was really working for me. Um. Yeah. Do you know what? The only character I feel I feel a little bit sorry for in terms of like not having uh, any kind of like more closure it would probably be Adelaide, uh, the fiance, because it felt like she did like, um, you know Owen and yeah, and we just get nothing of it though, right? Yeah, we see a shock in her face and the disappointment of what's what's really happening in the courtroom, but um, it, it felt weird to me that. We didn't even at least see like she's the one person who visits them, maybe or or something like that. You know, she's the one yeah. person who. No, I'm with know. you. But no, it's, uh, a, it's a minor nitpick. It's not really. Yeah, well, there's a couple of other things. Like I, I feel like we maybe spent too much time on the world building, for things that were just irrelevant. You know, like you know that first episode. There was all this stuff in the world set in the scene. Mm. Uh, and then yeah, we we had um like even with the the, the you know mantle ray report into the TV doctor voice thing. And it's just like, okay, there's all these things that it's setting up and throwing it. Like, okay, this is the world that kind of were irrelevant. Didn't really amount to anything at all other than just, oh, this is there. And um... I like a lot of world building, but I think it was just a bit too much time spent on it in that first episode to do nothing then. Because, because then we went, all oh, right, we're locked away in a lab now. You can argue that, sure. I, I think... You can argue there was too much time spent on it, perhaps, yeah. I, I think the the purpose of a lot of it, though, is to show ca- kind of how even less connected and how impersonal the world's become. You know, the idea of having the ad mm. body, and it's not even a real person. You don't even have real friends, you rent a friend. You know, you know all these, they're, sure. they're all kind of add to the themes of the show as opposed to being directly, you know, plot beats or, you know, something important yeah, for later. Yeah, no, no, I get that. I think it was just, it was a bit too much of it to to spend then everything locked away in the lab. Yeah. Yeah, admittedly, yeah. If this, as much as I said, I'd keep the first two episodes, at least some of it in flashback form. I'd probably all if I was if this was like a two and a half hour movie, I'd start it with them arriving at the lab and then sort of build in the backstory as we go yeah. a little bit. I guess I'd, I'd hit the ground running, I suppose. Um, 
but yeah. But I, I, I really like the finale. I like the show overall quite a lot. I, episode oh, nine, definitely. episode nine's a weak spot for me, and yeah, they maybe spent a little bit too much time in some of the the worlds in the middle. But I, I would still say it's a great show. It absolutely is. Like the direction alone is like okay, yeah, this is worth watching for that. And then then on top of that, you get the acting and you know, the other the core story. Mm. It's it's a great show. I think it just didn't quite. It, maybe this is my expectations based on you know premise trailer. It just didn't quite get to where i'd hoped it would have done i think the reason why the finale works for me and this has happened with a few other shows in the past is that and although to, to, to this show's credit this was always kind of a character first show and plot second it was yeah. is that there's some shows where the plot might go off the rails in the later seasons but the character beats are still good and the way the characters end and then the final episode is, is still satisfying and that's why it, you know i think when people complain about the finale of lost I don't share a lot of those those angers and complaints because for me the character conclusions are ultimately what makes that finale work. Um, sure. And I, I think here is the character. This is this, all this episode is is the characters concluding their stories and all yes. that stuff lands. And I think because of that, it fulfills everything that it needs to because the, the the plot. You know, I wouldn't say it wasn't ruined, but like the the you know the well Gertie kidnap someone plot and and whatnot like that that. Like kind of okay, it was underwhelming finish. Kind of just a non-entity, really. Um, but this was always a character show, and I think it, that's what it nailed in the final episode. Oh, it did. Yeah, no, I can't argue with that. It's still uh, pretty great stuff. So, uh, but that's Maniac. They got another Netflix show wrapped up first season. Well, that's one entirely, but you know. Yeah. That's us. Yeah, we got we got what you got a new Netflix show starting later this week. That's right. Yeah, that's Friday. We have uh, the Haunting of Hill House. It would be both of us, but of course, but you're on vacation, so I'll be tackling that one on my lonesome horror TV show. Early Buzz is good if you want to stick around and uh, come back and, and check out thoughts on that episode to episode. Um, and then other stuff coming up in the next couple months. Um, Sabrina, of course, at the end of the month, along with the animated Castlevania series. Yeah, I'd, I'd also just mention, not not Netflix, but Amazon, we have Homecoming, um, which looks interesting. And the trailer kind of sold itself as, it's not, not similar to this, but stylistically maybe doing some similar ideas. More importantly, it's directed by uh, Sam Esmail, who is the writer and director of Mr. Robot. He's not writing this show, but you can see his directional style in the trailer, so that's a, a big plus. That is coming early yes. November. Uh, that's actually going to overlap with our Sabrina coverage, which is just f- going to be fun for our schedule, but we'll do it, damn it. Yeah, yeah. But we'll do it. So, no, p- plenty of stuff coming up, and they're always announcing uh, more more dates for things uh, all the time. Uh, but yeah, so that that's coming up in terms of Netflix coverage. So if you're on the audio feed or you're sticking around, obviously if you're on the YouTube channel, you've seen all the other stuff. If you're not on the YouTube channel, if you're only listening to the, 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 you know, the Mail Fuzz Netflix review feed, um, do check out the almost cancelled TV review feed as well. That has stuff from other places. Like that's where you'll find Homecoming. That's where you'll find other things like Better Call Saul, which just finished its season. You'll find the Deuce. You'll find stuff like that uh, on that feed. Um, we got movie feeds and stuff as well. A lot, uh, a lot of character dramas going on right now. Between you, know, yeah, this Saul. Uh, but where you find all these the best place to go is actually patreon.com slash tv not just because we'd love for you to support us because that would be great and we'd appreciate it loads but because the top post on there has handy links to all the different feeds all the different shows we do and you get a nice neat list of everything uh, and go from there but that is that is us so thank you once again let us know what you thought of the show and the comments get us on twitter's at mailed underscore fuzz uh, for for channel updates and things like that and whatnot but that is us so thank you once again keep watching tv guys Have you got any vanilla?